might add to that all things grandchildren. Yeah. And he's lived in Colorado Springs for 28 years. His burning desire is to go caribou hunting. Something that no one knows about Frank is he used to farm 300 acres of onions. <laughs> <laughs> and his key to success is hard work and honesty and integrity. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Get started on this. I decided not to talk about windows and doors specifically because you've all heard that story from me. What's happening is you all have homes that were pre constructed by somebody that picked the cheapest product they could get in your home. Now they may have bid, had somebody bid a thousand windows to do a whole complex where you live. Uh, they may have all dealt with Mr. Oldak who sold millions of windows uh, in this county and up into the Denver area <coughs> and around that uh, were wood and because wood was sort of an in thing then he was able to sell millions and millions of these things. Well, over time, wood in Colorado doesn't hold up. Vinyl in Colorado, the type they put in your home, doesn't hold up because they use regrind or recycled material, which is wonderful for the ecosystem, but it's not so wonderful in your home. It deteriorates in the sun, the UV rays, it gets brittle and breaks the minute we get a hailstorm. Thankfully, if you get a hailstorm, you want to pray that it breaks the whole window so the insurance company will replace it. Otherwise, they generally only replace what's called a glazing strip around the outside. It's a one inch piece of material, costs about a dollar, and nobody's going to go out and fix it for you because there's no profit in it. There's no, I mean, you can't charge you anything. It, it's just ridiculous. So those are the things you want to look at when you start dealing with windows. With doors, some of you have good quality doors that I've looked at, others do not. And you're probably wondering, well, how does he know the difference? A good quality door is going to be something like this door right here. You see this edge right here? That's the edge where the screws go in for the hinges. And if you notice, this is approximately a four inch piece of wood. This is also what we have on this door. And it's the same situation, but we have about an inch and a half piece of wood. So when I talk to you about somebody kicking in your door, which door would you like to have in your home? This one. They're not going to kick your door in. So when we talk about the framing and everything goes with them, you have to look at how, what's going to happen to my door over time. Well, your better doors are going to have a composite material that cannot deteriorate with water and moisture and snow sitting on the ground and the snow falling in here and going in. It won't deteriorate this where your less expensive windows or doors have a wood bottom or a composite bottom made of who knows what. It could be uh, glue and chips of wood. It could be, um, you know, OSB. It could be a lot of things that is going to give up over time. So you need to watch that and see what is happening with your door. Then you wonder why the door is doing this, doing that. Generally speaking, the door will not have any shims in it. When we put a door in, we put shims <coughs> between the studs and this door so that you get a nice, clean reveal. A lot of you see you got a reveal that's, you know, maybe you could throw a cat through this side and it's real tight over here. And don't disrespect Carl. Uh, but, <laughs> but, got these giant cracks and they do you know one of these numbers and then at the top they're tight over here big at the, and you know Michelle has a door like that that they just got in a hurry and they stuck it in and now nobody wants to fix it it's not installed properly and you know it, it's amazing who does this work 
This work is done by framers. And believe me, when I say framers, they really are just that. They, they don't have a level generally. They um, don't use a square. They just stick it in there, bing, 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 and walk away. The next guy comes along, sides the house, trims the interior, and you own that door. So you want to be careful what you're doing with all the products in your home. The other thing is screens. How many of you have a torn screen or this is all bent, out of shape, these little springs are missing? You know, you go down to Home Depot or Lowe's, you can buy a kit. The kit's about $12, $50 to $15, depending on what you get. I can get these for you for a lot less money, already completed, the right size, put in your home and away for a lot less money. So when you have bent windows, or bent screens, it's almost cheaper to let me just order you a new screen. Then you have better screening materials. These won't deteriorate in the sun as bad. How many of you have screens that are all like faded looking and you know they've got little tiny, they're tearing down here at the bottom. Well there's lots of different kinds of screening material. Some is fiberglass, some is metal. So there's a lot of things you can do to ch change the look of your house even with these screens. And they sort of have a little bit of a sun reflective material to them so that they don't uh, deteriorate as bad. Let's talk about the other part of the window. How many of you have this kind of a balancer? And I have it on a pair of plugs because I can't pull this uh, without it. This is what raises and lowers your window. And it's a, we call it a, uh, spring and string system. There are several different kinds. Some have like a corkscrew going up through them in a round tube. Well, these pop off and go shooting straight up the side of your window. And when that happens, this may not be bad. It may be that over time, the thing that connects all this together right here, uh, this has broke and let that window, or let this go shooting on up the track. Well, if you have a kid in there and he's doing anything, it, this could hurt somebody. I have proof of it on one of my fingers here. <laughs> um, these things are designed for the weight of the window, so each one is a little different. This is designed for a 50 pound window, and let me tell you, the pull this is unreal. But if it gets away from you, it will take your finger off, believe me. Um, so sometimes that's all that's wrong with your windows. You think, oh man, I can't get this up, it won't stay up. I, I can get those for you as well. We've got lots of parts that we can get. People don't know that they can fix certain things. How many of you have a patio door, rolls on a track, that's bent, you know, bent this way, doesn't open, there's all kinds of things we can do. We can take them apart, pull the wheels out, put new wheels in, and you don't have to buy a whole new door. So, you know, repair is not really my forte, but we can do it, and we can do anything just about within reason. Unless the costs get too prohibitive, and then I can tell you, you know, time to just replace the door. It's gonna be less expensive, it'll look nicer, it'll work better, let's just get you a better door. Those doors at Home Depot and Lowe's are about half the weight of this door. This is a door I get straight from the factory, same as I do the screens. And I can get them for less money in the end than you can get one at Home Depot or Lowe's. So they have replacements, but that's just what they are. They're replacements, and they don't work very well. So I just wanted to talk to you about that kind of stuff today instead of getting into a lot of other crazy details about windows. Um, the one last thing is, today with windows, we can put almost any color on the exterior of your window. So you have a house and you like red windows, we can do that. If you want wood grain look inside, kind of like this, uh, this door, we can do that and put color on the outside. 
So we're doing a lot more things with windows and vinyl than we've ever been able to do before, and it really is making a difference for people's homes and not having to stick to white and beige. So anybody have anything like that, just let us know and we can help them out. That's all I have, actually. Yeah. Right?